Pan Island of Kauai sparkles in the Pacific, an emerald paradise in a sea of turquoise. So uh, we were very unprepared. The first one wasn't that bad ten years earlier. And uh, we just thought, we'll hunker down, and we did it before, we'll do it again. And we took the sirens lightly, because I, I just denied there was a hurricane coming. Many residents of Kauai, Whitman and his family take refuge in their home as Aniki's overwhelming power swells. I actually walked into that room and I looked up and you could see the roof doing uh, rolls. At its full force, Aniki unleashes all of its might. 160 mile an hour winds lash out relentlessly at the small island. Ultimately, the Whitmans share the same fate as thousands of others. Thinking back, I was laughing. You hear the tape, I'm having a great time, it sounds like. Just off top of our confidence, God! <laughs> and that kept me from literally breaking down and crawling into a corner. But I was that close, and I, I don't put that lightly anymore. Yeah, it's a strange thing to be confronted like that. And then it stops. Kauai's embattled residents emerge from their ravaged homes and shelters to assess the damage. But there is an eerie stillness in the air. All of a sudden you realize it isn't over. It's only half over. Nature's cruelest tricks, the chaos starts all over again. The brief respite is Aniki's eye passing directly over the island. Once again, Kauai is battered by the storm, but this time the gale force winds have switched direction. Despite $1.6 billion in damage and 8,000 people left homeless, the worst storm to hit Hawaii in a century did not take a single human life. The thing I've learned is you have to have a respect for nature. Uh, you can't forget uh, how unforgiving, how powerful, how unpredictable, and, and how beautiful storms are. I mean, there, there are many things about storms that are beautiful and they'll take your breath away. And then, you know, a moment later, you may be looking at, at horrible devastation. As far as nature goes, you never think about how strong nature is. And you still get kind of emotional about it when you think about, you know, hey, I could have lost everything, my kids, my wife, and, you know, everything. And uh, it's, a, it's a thankful feeling, too, you know, that, that you're allowed to go ahead and stay here and, and you know, live. It reminds you how little we really are, uh, how close to being exterminated, I, I feel. I mean, natural disasters, geez, what can you say? It's the, the one thing I don't think anyone counts on, you know, as far as what problems you might face, you know, until you get hit by one, everything else just seems unimportant afterwards, you know. You, and we have a different outlook on life.